Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then my name is Rosie and I'm a recent graduate of the University of Oxford. I'm currently on a gap year trying to earn money for my masters, which I'm doing next year in forensic archaeology and anthropology. My first task of the day, actually, is to convert my scholarship application for my masters into a PDF because you have to submit it as a PDF. I was also meant to be doing Joe Wicks this morning and I just cannot be bothered. It's already ten past nine and I'm still upstairs. No thanks, not today, no. So the first thing I have to do today is convert my scholarship application from Microsoft Word to a PDF. It was on a Google Docs, which would have been much easier to convert because you can simply download it. But I discovered that I could get a license for free for Microsoft Word with work. So now we're using Microsoft Word and we've made things difficult for ourselves. However, it would have been difficult had Wondershare High PDF not very kindly decided to sponsor this video for me. So we've got a PDF converter tool. Wondershare High PDF is an all-in-one PDF editor with powerful features such as edit, convert, review, protect and sign. Is that the right amount of things? I'm not entirely sure, it's too early for math. It works on both Windows and Mac and while I'm using it specifically to convert Word document to PDF, you can also use it as a great tool for note-taking and editing documents. So the website looks like this when you first go on it and what I want is this word to PDF. So I'm going to click on that and all I literally have to do is drag and drop my scholarship application to here. All we do is click on this choose file button and I will select it and it uploads. Then we press convert. Download. Now I can submit it. That is so satisfying. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I just need to change something because this says that my YouTube channel has over 8,400 subscribers when actually we have now over 9,000. So I'm going to just edit that and then redo it. But you get the gist. This is what I'm doing this morning. <laughs> morning making thumbnails for videos that were going out and also trying to do a bit of editing but to be honest I was really struggling with motivation that day I just don't really know why some days you can some days you can't and for me this was an off day that's all right <laughs> making some nails for both the study tube project and my channel i was trying to edit but it was too hard to see the screen so i gave up i got bored of working and my laptop was too hot as well so my laptop's inside and i'm just gonna sunbathe and read my book <laughs>
not motivated today. I feel like I should be doing something super productive and I just can't really be bothered. Like I know I've got stuff to do, but also I'm thinking, do I really, really need to do it? Or am I just making work for myself? I don't know, I'm really not sure. This is my to-do list. It's like an, a rolling to-do list. It's not everything I'm supposed to do today, but I do need to do this. That's what I tried to do earlier and failed because I couldn't see the screen. I might plan my brother's birthday. He turns 20 next week, so I might do that. And then obviously I need to do this, but I've asked my mum if she can read through it one more time before I submit it. So perhaps I do this. I also need to phone the tax office because I'm not supposed to pay tax because I don't earn enough, but they put me on the wrong tax code and I just can't really face that today. It's so dull. I think normally if I was having such an unproductive day, I'd stop filming and be like, right, just do it another day. But at the moment, I think more than ever, it is super important to just show how everybody has those days in the words of Hannah Montana, nobody's perfect. I've just put some more sun cream on so I'm gonna try going back outside and just sitting in a different position and then maybe I'll be able to see the screen better. Inside because I couldn't stop sneezing being on the grass and also my eczema was getting bad with my sun cream and in order to take the sun cream off I had to come inside. I know the first thing I did today was convert my um, Cranfield scholarship application into a PDF because I thought I'd finished but turns out I haven't finished. Mum had a look through and found some bits that she thought I needed to tweak so I'm gonna do those edits and then reconvert it into a PDF. Oh, but then we're going to submit it. The, the original deadline was the 30th of April, but they've extended it because I assume the virus until um, June, so I'm not actually going to hear anything for ages, but it's still a massive weight of my shoulders to get it sent. And then at four, I'm doing a workout on FaceTime with my best friend, Annabelle. These days, it's not easy, easy. People, the time has come. We are submitting the scholarship application. This could literally like define how comfortably I live next year and whether I have to work throughout my whole masters. So it's quite a big deal. It's like if I get this scholarship, then I can do like volunteering and stuff in the holidays and not have to worry about affording my accommodation. And it would just be dreamy. It would be dreamy. It's ten thousand pounds. Ten thousand pounds, like all of my tuition fees. It would mean that all the money that I've earned in my job can just go for living, and then I won't actually have to take out the uh, student loan. Because with the postgraduate loan, it, it doesn't add on to your, to your debt that you've already got at undergrad. It's a separate thing, so you pay them both at the same time. And you also start paying the postgraduate one when you're earning 21,000, whereas when you're earning 25,000 on your undergrad, so it would be a massive weight lifted. <sighs> okay. Right, it's converted to a PDF. I can smell fire. I hope that's the barbecue. Title Miss Surname UK Forensic Archaeology and Anthropology. Oh, what's my student ID? <laughs> oh, hey, fever, it's real. Right, I found my student number. That took a ridiculous amount of time. Like, I had to reset my password three times. I couldn't work out how to use the website. Oh, what's my online application number? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, for God's sake. 
Right, it wants me to name my file as CFI with six X's and I don't have a clue what my six digit online application number is. Like, what? Is it that at the top? Right, I've had a mare with this. I've had a mare. Oh, I'm meant to be doing my exercise now. Oh no. I've sent the email and hopefully they'll respond today and I can send it off. But that is so annoying. I got so psyched up for it. I need to go and do my exercise anyway. Oh, yes. That was the nicest thing she's ever said to me. Right, I still can't figure out how to do it and it's been an hour and a half. So I'm just gonna go on my walk and hope they respond to my email soon. Cause they did respond, but it didn't actually answer my question. One hour later. Okay. <laughs> She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she has under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever. I really would like to try and make some dark fruits. I've got some cider. I don't know if I've got the. Ooh. That could work. Okay. Yeah. There must be something that features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her So Right, my bloody leg keeps falling off Not my leg The camera tripod leg Uh -huh. Got so she brushing against my hands. Seen you from around the way, you didn't give me the time of day. You be making moves that you who really care what Simon say. All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that. Call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cash back. You be looking fine, so no wonder they can match that. Louis V scarf, I'm chilling with a dad hat. Whoa, slow it down like that. Just hold me down like that. Yeah. She's a mother. 